All right, not light enough to get back to the school shape. And uh, <laughs> there are lovely teachers. They're available for a fraction, a veritable fraction of what it would cost you to open up your own club <laughs> at a prestige. And perfect time for you to be in this room because we got a treat for you. Know? We got. Uh, uh, I would say kind of the first citizens of this club. Two guys who are working out here and they shh. Please, you're gonna want to listen to these guys. They do sketch material and you can't interrupt them, really, because if, if you listen, you will have the time you're like, these guys are fantastic. I'm no bullshit here. These guys are, are terrific. They're gonna be doing a little videotaping and I really want you to give them your close attention. You can settle down, you're ready to laugh, and I know you're gonna love them. So please give them your warmest, catch your eyes and start winning your Alto and Mantia, Buddy and Bobby. <laughs>
and ended up in the gutter. <laughs> Because they're working. 
<laughs> so, uh, I'm just doing a lot of the big hotels in the mountains. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fabulous Alto and Mantia. Good man. Bobby from Brooklyn, New York. And Dayton, we heard it. No, yes, I did. What else? Dayton. Buddy's from Dayton, Ohio. Well, which one was from Dayton? Over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My whole family still lives in Dayton. His brother's probably robbing your house right now. Three to five? Yeah. <laughs> Dayton is a nice small town. I was there a few times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what do you mean, small town? There's a half a million people there. I got that many in my building. <laughs> We're talking Dayton. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. You know who's from my neighborhood in Dayton? That guy. <laughs> Besides that guy, who came from my neighborhood are the Wright brothers. They invented the airplane, Orville and Wilbur. Orville and Wilbur? Yeah. You know who's from my neighborhood? Uh, Vinny and Angelo. <laughs> they invented the getaway car. <laughs> I'm giving you historic people here. But well, we have historic people from Brooklyn. Yeah? Sure. Who? Cool. Napoleon Bonaparte? <laughs> what? Napoleon. The Napoleon? Yes, the Emperor. He's from Brooklyn? Yes. So how'd he get to France? He saved up. <laughs> Give me somebody from Brooklyn who really did something. Mary Lou Messina. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? Everything. <laughs> and I suppose you took her out too. Oh, yeah, sure. Twice? Why the second time? Well, I wanted to give her back what she gave me. <laughs> Do we have any Italians here? Or oh, what? Hey, all right, don't raise your hand. I'll think you're surrendering. <laughs> and we are, we're Italian. I'm Sicilian, but he's albino. <laughs> he teases me because I'm pale for now. You like, you like, you like. You, you look typically Italian. Yeah. Oh, that's why you got the Ragu commercial. Because you look yeah, like yeah. Italian. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, uh, I have a commercial uh, for Ragu spaghetti sauce on television. It's the one where... Uh, we're all sitting around the dining room table, and I say to my son, Tony, you got nice friends. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice commercial. Put it on the air. You know, since he did that commercial, I've been using ragu a lot, because I like to cook. I cook linguine nice, I put the ragu sauce on top, and I go, Here, boy, here, boy, here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, get out of here. What are you It's not bad, that stuff. Yeah. It's fast. You just add a little garlic. How much garlic? How big is your dog? <laughs> so much of that stuff, I found out the real meaning of plop, plop, fizz, fizz. <laughs> I would like to sing an Italian song right now, if I may. This is the love theme from the motion picture, Jaws. Manja, 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 manja. Here's Buddy to sing the classical Italian song, Sorrento. E da mare come bello The Jiju is just dumb
they pray. Everything is pink. Hey, hey, fish face. <laughs> What's the matter? I got a no heart. You got a no heart? I got no brains. Let's go into politics. <laughs> You're crazy. That's no good. Well, why don't you come with us to see the wizard? He'd give you a heart. A wizard? Oh, if the wizard could give me a heart. Yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah. Yeah. What do you got? I got no courage. Hey, I thought he was supposed to be king of the forest. I'm queen of the jungle. <laughs> don't you worry, Waldo. You come with us. We take you to see the wizard. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ken, we're up there. Where are we in Oh, Montreal. We were there. It's a beautiful place. It's not finished yet. Wait, are you just visiting? No, he commutes. Did they commute? Oh, he commutes, see? Plattsburgh to Montreal and Montreal. Who the hell asked you that? <laughs> no, you know, a lot of people up in Canada speak French. Are you bilingual? Are you bisexual? <laughs> what do you mean to the guy? What's the matter with you? It's cute. It's cute. What's... The guy didn't come here to be insulted. Where does he usually go? <laughs> to your house. <laughs> you should really apologize to the man. Uh, I was only kidding. The man's blushing. He's embarrassed. I was kidding. Why are you making a big deal out of it? Apologize to the guy. I'm sorry you're a homo. <laughs> Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. The guy's an animal. <laughs> Everything all right over there? All right, Ken. We're going to be in an off-Broadway show. I wanted to mention. Well, actually, it's all off-Broadway. It's in Finland. <laughs> Plattsburgh. <laughs> We're going to do something for you right now that originally opened in 1958. 58. You've got to get it clean. Do it over. i got to do it over. We're going to do something for you right now. The ship's been revived on Broadway. It originally opened in 1958. Hmm. See if you remember this.
gentleman behind you on the piano, Mr. Rod Housen. Give a hand. tonight is our own version of the Wizard of Oz in Italian. Once upon a time on a farm in Naples, there lived a little girl named the name of Dorothy Bobs. She thought nobody loved her. She's gonna run away from home. She's walking along the road. All of a sudden, storm clouds darken the sky. And the wind, she's not...
a brain? Why, Scarecrow, my boy, you have a brain? Only back where I come from, men go to great universities and they have something that you don't have. A diploma. So by the authority vested in me, I shall present you with this certified diploma in psychology from Yeshiva University. <laughs> It's like the truck in the circus with 84 firemen. So long, Scorpio. 